Well, I won't be talking well, to the rose expert anymore. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but uh, you can ask me anything about panties. I love um, panties. Oh, flowers. Panties. Yeah. Yes. Peonies. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, if you didn't Peonies. get a chance to check out, I'm so sorry. Marina Rourke contacted us because the Apple store in Walnut Creek refused to give her the $7 left in her card after a major purchase. So we went back with her with a copy of that California Civil Code that clearly states the refund policy. And Viola, the clerk handed over the $7. And England skipper Andrew Strauss arrived in London proudly showing off the little urn. They'll spend four days at home before flying out for the World Cup. And Belinda, I just can't understand how something so small can be so impressive. Well, Mark, you would know about that. Thank you very much. Take your hand, okay. wave it over the key. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's, oh. You, you have the key, though. You do have the key still? <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's, I'm sorry, that happens. It, it actually is not a tornado, and I know that because what we're looking for is debris along the base of that, and that dog right there, that dog is the key to all tornado formation. What happened there? <laughs> that was bizarre. <laughs> Thanks very much. Well, still to come, who's been sleeping out in the cold to draw attention to homelessness in New Zealand? And we'll bring you more on the Kim.com saga as his lawyer tells First Line. New Zealand authorities have been overreacting. Right now, it's time to look at the sports stories making news this morning. Here's Sam. As the snow continues to fall overnight, only time will tell. Reporting live from Nassau County, Stacey Hill, News 4. New York. Ooh, I not, don't know what just happened there. Quite a scene that, behind her there. I'm not sure if that was a little sliding or spinning or oh. intentional. Well, certainly, let's try to keep it safe out there. Yeah. Joey loves Yardale's ice cream. I guess so, and I guess I'm finished with it now. Yeah, so, you don't want to, come on, Elise, take another <laughs> bite. All I see is this little tongue. He is back really into it's French yeah. vanilla, in case you're wondering. So, uh, okay, I could watch that all day. That's, <laughs> I'm that's pretty, Cat, pretty cute. And I love your nails. <laughs> How's that, bud? Boise State will be looking to grab Colorado State by the horns on Saturday, but those Rams are tough, just like the new Dodge Durango with the 360 horsepower Hemi V8 <laughs> and 7,400 pounds of towing capacity. The Dodge Durango is. This is video of football. I'm in a glass case of emotion. Do you know what you've got? No idea at all. I doubt it very much. <laughs> OK. Hang on Tomorrow. a minute. Hang on a minute. Who was that? What was I, that I about? Gonna, I can't remember his name. Top of oh. my head. <laughs> terrible. His IDS is old bag carry. I feel terrible about that. Um, I'm, in, well, I'm in name gridlock, I'm afraid. Burgemeester, what is er nou so bijzonder aan Seelkampen? As you do mooiste... Jongens, dat gaat niet goed. Deze kant dan. Nee. I did buy some ice cream bars and I said to Bridget, the videographer I'm working with, we have to eat these really fast because they're not going to stay frozen. And she didn't believe me. She said, no, it's cold. I said, it has to be zero or ice cream won't stay cold. And lo and behold, it's so warm, it doesn't even stay on the stick. Stay off the roads. Um, it's better inside and not driving. You don't know what you're going to run into. You know, drive half the speed limit that you would if you are out on the road, if you have to be on the road. Uh, but yeah, I mean, cars parked in the middle of the road. We're seeing it right here all over. And um, just, you know, dodge that, uh, dodge those cars in the road. Absolutely. Everything. We can see 48 degrees for a low on Wednesday night into Thursday. Claire. Are you doing weather for me this morning? We can see overnight lows will be dropping down <laughs> into the 40s, 50s, even a few 60s. That's no, all right. She's going to go up there in a, in a moment to do the, the some of the stories that we have. That's why she's I there. think I might have some competition. She's, I know. Uh, she did pretty well. She Getting the people who were in line. Many of these people were in line since before Chris? light this morning. Hey. Um, that's our photojournalist, Matt Stevens. Six, six, or, Matt, six, Stevens. Yeah. Matt Wanders. Matt Stevens is laughing. Oh. Uh, not sure why Matt was uh, in front of the camera oh, instead of behind TV. it. Oh, this is great TV. Yo, man, I still got off air. What is going on? Thank you.
Mike Helgren, an up-and-coming reporter at the CBS affiliate in Baltimore. He was covering the case of a man who assaulted a woman after a fender bender. And police really want to get this guy. That but look at what happened when they flashed the police sketch of the suspect. Police are on the hunt for the man resembling this sketch. Wait a second. Look at these two faces side by side. See any resemblance? Not a chance. Well, this is solved. This is no cold case. That's <laughs> not... <laughs> That's the you magic admit, of television. You better be glad you weren't on the on the story. Yeah, because no they kidding. would have hauled you away. He needs some makeup. I know. <laughs> I've got some to spare. If you DVR us, go back and it'll make all sense if you look at the piece. Tuesday, 59 degrees. Wednesday, <laughs> there we go. That looks good. That looks good. 63 oh. on your Saturday, and uh, temperature-wise. <laughs> There, there we go for the Orange County coastal areas. Look at that. They're doing a fantastic job. Yeah, it's chilly. That's right. 59 degrees uh, today. Wednesday, chance of some rain showers. Suddenly, Sam's like, why did I get into the entertainment business? Uh, and I speak uh, for all of us graduates. I'm so excited about it. Dude, aren't you cold? No, man. I'm from Wisconsin. From Wisconsin, everybody. Well, there you go. How's it going out there? All close. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Mike. Okay, well, thank you, Bob. Sand in my eye and in my mouth now. And we have storm chasers taking photos of me trying to report in the dust storm. No one's laughing at me, and this storm is very intense. Um, I'm sure you can see by the looks of me how oh, strong that this wind is. Now it's like taking a beating with little um, hail pellets, if you will. <laughs> I don't know what you're laughing at. What? Well, I'm not laughing at this story, because yeah. the story is serious. <laughs> but, man, I apologize. <laughs> it's getting, I'm getting, it is, I'm, it's, it's Thursday. I'm, it's, it's Thursday. Good morning. <clears throat> Day. It really? Is. Fairly Dickinson? Isn't that what it's called? Fairy, I thought that's what it said. Yeah, they're fairly yeah, Dickinson. Fair, so yeah. yeah, they're it, moderately I, Dickinson. I, <laughs> <laughs> I spilled up brackets. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I haven't done that yet. I no. might put them to win it all. We haven't gotten our brackets yet, have Ooh, we, Jason Borba? Not Borbaugh? yet. I'm all over. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, Jason. Cloud drivers like it. They've been able to come in and really clear the streets really nicely. In fact, they've cleared it so much that people have uh, put on their scarves and their hats and their big coats. And we've seen a couple of people walking down the street now that they've been plowed. We've seen a couple of people jogging down the street. Um, and, they, and they are on the street because the... Uh, the uh, sidewalks are still pretty thick. Now, we spoke to some people earlier today about... Um, no, she's saying that we need to drop the sweatpants. Uh, not, oh, really? Not, <laughs> no, <laughs> not wear sweatpants. Just be free. It's spring. <laughs> <laughs> drop the sweatpants. Yeah, it is the first day of spring. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hashtag That's, today. Drop okay. the sweatpants. Let's okay. just turn it over to Damon. Yeah. <laughs> Anything you okay. want to drop on us? No, I just want to say keep the sweatpants on. <laughs> to figure out what's wrong with it tomorrow. Here, here comes Bill Belichick now. He's wearing a visor. He's wearing a cutoff uh, windbreaker. He has shorts on. He has a piece of paper in his hand, which I've never seen before. He just took his visor off and handed it to Bears Nigerian. He's brushing his hair back. And this is a, a walk, and this is at the press conference. I'm sure he's not looking forward to it all. But it looks like there's at least a couple of pieces of paper here, and it appears that he'll be making a statement. Let's join Bill Belichick right now. Do you have the night off after three days of organized activities? The OTAs continue next week. This is the first time. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right, all right. This is the first time we've seen the rookies and the vets together, and it is our first opportunity to get to know Running backs coach Sylvester Croom. This is serious, though, right here, this part. Croom made history at Mississippi State. Somewhere in between the, uh, the teleprompter and... Uh, Looks like we're having some, the name yeah. Song singer got mispronounced and the flap started trending online. Luckily for Menzel and the songs, uh, Travolta's introduction had no influence on Academy voters last night. Uh, that was a hugely 
popular. I don't know what's happening right now. I'm, yeah, I'm just mouthing you because the camera's yeah. on me. Yeah. So, <laughs> I will now take the next story. Pardon me? I, uh, the battery's a good uh, mute button uh, was in, in effect. Uh, keep from space. We're going to stick this in anywhere or we're going to skip it. $64, a professional instructor will take you for a three-hour heart-pounding lap ride. Uh, $190. <laughs> no, a three-lap ride. Three-lap ride. Thank you. <laughs> Not a lap ride. <laughs> $499. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> you can read them on the street. <laughs> Not showing any rain in southwest Florida. It is showing Jeff Butera, though. 31 days until spring. <laughs> Headed for... Woo! That was scary. Sorry, a light just blew out. <laughs> I'm fine. It's just... It's like dripping stuff. It's... Okay. Okay. It's like, uh... Not good. Manti Tail Girlfriend Bobblehead Night. The first 1,000 fans will get a box that we imagine will look something like this. Open it up and of course it'll be empty since the girlfriend never existed. There will also be a special section at the baseball park reserved for fans to sit with their imaginary friends. And there will also be an imaginary kiss cam. Right there. <laughs> Now, your next Action News first alert forecast. What was that? <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, I got some cold to talk about. <laughs> All right, so right here. <laughs> Guess what? Texas Tech is. Always the national champion. Oh, jeez, oh, Louise! <laughs> Why did that just happen? <laughs> I think I, just, I nearly lost my lunch. <laughs> oh man, sakes alive! We got to get out there and kill those things. Ah, oh, jeez. Many of us will go through a whole lot of holiday stress. So how do you handle this stress and can you even prevent it? Well, that is where Shelly Fidel, a psycho with psychotherapy, a psycho, <laughs> I was like, that came out so bad. That is so not That's what okay. I That's so not okay. what I Well, my children can agree with you at times. Coma, yes, that's so okay. Fun. I need to talk to this lady yeah, more often. Okay. You are a psychotherapist. Yes. Oh yes. my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Oh, awesome. Yeah. There's like a thousand people, right? You just kind of set up right here? Oh, it all, yeah. Like all Completely all packed out. You're getting photo bombed. <laughs> <I know. laughs> So, anything else you guys wanted to say? Oh, we're just glad to be here. Move yeah. to Denver. Actually, don't. Anybody move to Denver. Yeah. More for us. Yeah. Uh, did, you, did I have you say and spell your name already? I forget. No, Louisa. L-U-I-S-A. Okay, and your last name? Morgan. M-O-R-G-A-N. And you? Hannah, H-A-N-N-A-H, Madison, M-A-D-I-S-O-A. Whoa! Uh, um, oh. <laughs> because instead of going straight to school, many 18 and 19 year olds planned on to leave their missions. Basic enrollment is not the only thing that's rising at the university. While normal enrollment is back up to pre-announcement numbers, the university's online enrollment has been skyrocketed by 57.4% since last time this year. To serve more students, as many students as possible, in a, in a, in a cost-effective manner. And so, Online education, we have found, is one of the best ways to do that. Now, Stephen says that this says that the college is glad to explain the campus's footprint outside of Rexburg by offering online education. Live in the studio, I'm Chelsea Brensel. All right, thank you, Chelsea. All right, James, getting colder out there, huh? Yeah, it is. That north yeah. wind really been pumped up this evening, and it is blowing <laughs> strong. <laughs> wow, that's great. <laughs> thank you, James. <laughs> it is. A very strong wind. Oh, man. All right. 
Let's take a look. <laughs> no. <laughs> Now everybody's laughing. That's good. Radar continues to show the rain. <laughs> Scooting further away. No rain in Tulsa. The cold air has moved in. <laughs> the, mis- <laughs> the mistake is that they are laughing. So if they wouldn't laugh, everybody else wouldn't be laughing too. Most of the rain is very light from Grove down to Jay toward Kansas, Wagner, Tahlequah, and it is continuing to move off toward the east, away from us. We just have still, they are still laughing. I didn't think it was that funny. It is still cloudy and it is still windy, and that's why we don't have a lot of variance in our temperatures. They're they're actually crying over there, laughing so hard. 40 at... Lunchtime, still wiping your eyes. Wow, I've never had that reaction for anything humorous I've ever tried to say. Thanks, Melissa. Now, while many area businesses like the hotels and other places are staying busy, that's definitely the case here at uh, Kalamazoo's Holiday Inn. Now, the Kalamazoo's Radisson joins the Holiday Inn and offering special rates for standard travelers. And those travelers can get special deals on rooms for a night or two. And they say that if they're joint in offering special deals and also they're putting them over to stay a night or two. And then they go to the Holiday Inn and other places and then they can go to reporting to different places. Now, store management also say that people started packing in last night at Myers and Definitely, they're staying busy, and they didn't start slowing down till this afternoon at Meyer. We don't want to get hungry. As you can tell, we like to eat, so we want to fill up a little bit in case it gets bad tomorrow. I'm history. Meyer management says it expects to have more business coming up, and they'll always stay open no matter how bad the snow gets. Now, VFI Waste Services of Western Michigan that we talked to earlier says that it's going to have to cancel, even delay some of its services to area customers, but just put out your trash on the curbside and they'll pick it up weather permitting. Report, reporting live in Kalamazoo, I'm Gage Norm with news from where you live. Remain back to you. Uh, my pleasure to uh, talk to a man who